your shoulder. What's up guys? So today we're talking about creating coils with your structure as a means for power generation. So I said a lot of fancy words, but all I'm saying is think about how you can spiral your limbs and each articulating joint on your limb to create the most torque um, as your fist comes up, right? If I were to just punch this bag here, right? And I just stood here and punched it straight. There's no spiraling or coiling whatsoever. It's just my hand that goes straight. Now if you add turning the fist over at the last second, right? Now you added one coil to that. Now how about you flare your elbow out a little bit with that. So flare and turn. So now you have two. And then you add your shoulder to that, right? So you, your shoulder kind of turns over, your elbow flares out, and now you twist over. So that's three, right? And you can kind of see how this is kind of like a chain link of coming from a larger part of your body, eventually going down all the way to your feet and to the ground, and pushing yourself all the way up to um, the extension of your fist, right? So let's continue with that. I had. I have wrist, I have elbow, I have shoulder, and then I have my opposite shoulder pulling back as I do that. So now my upper torso is rotating uh, left to right. Now then you also have your hips that kind of drive that. And then now you have your, your legs that push out and do that as well. And then one thing that's cool about that is if you think about your feet, they're, they're pushing against the ground but they're also, there's the ability for your legs to kind of spiral too, where your shin meets your, your thigh, right? your knee bone, right, your kneecap. So not only are you just pushing against the ground to do that, you are also spiraling through as well, right? So as my body spirals, my frame or my, my structure flares out. And that's when you hear about people say, stay grounded or rooted. It's not that I'm sinking my body weight straight down, it's that my body is bowing out so that I'm a solid structure with these curves and bends, right? So if I just did an upper body punch here, and kept everything else static. It's fast, it's sharp, but there's no power behind it. Now if I just add my upper body, right, my, my shoulder's going back. It has a little more torque, and if I add my hip, adds even more. So now if I add my legs into it and pump with that, adds even more, right? So there are a few things that you can do to even add more to this. If you cut your body in half, you have the, the thing that's pushing something out, the punch, and then the other half of your body is what's pulling back. So this push-pull motion is adding to that spiral, right? And you can have that in as, as large of a motion as your entire body push pulling and a small emotion as just your thumb going from here to here. This is a spiral in itself as well, right? So all the all that combined, right? I have a spiral here that I can shoot out. I have a spiral here with my elbow that I can shoot out. And I have a spiral with my shoulder. Right? And that's where like the, the inch power or the one inch punch type of concept comes in where everything's kind of coiling through and, and straightening out here, right? And then you also have the big pull with your opposite arm that's pulling back. So if I combine all those together, right? You have a pretty, pretty powerful punch, right? And one leads into the other. So that, and everything kind of works in sync. Now, some key things to think about. When I do throw punches or blocks or anything like that, I wanna make sure my eyes stay open. I'm always focused on my target. And if there isn't a target there, I'm at least visualizing uh, the target or the attacker, right? A lot of times you see people, they practice their katas and their eyes kind of close and they kind of blink. I see this a lot. One way to help with that is to kind of spot something in the distance and keep your eyes on that. Uh, you, this is a trick from, from like gymnasts or figure skaters so they don't get dizzy, but it keeps our eyes open, right? So if I spot something beyond the camera here, it allows me to keep my eyes on target 
while doing all these fast switch motions, right? And two, you always want to think about keeping your body weight grounded and centered. And again, that's not saying that I'm dropping my body weight down and just sitting. You're not trying to just sink down like this. You're trying to expand and grow out, right? So when I think about that, my, my, my stance is actually pushing outward into the bag versus just dropping down. Because you want to think, I'm not really trying to um, push my opponent down and back, I'm trying to spread my base out so that I'm a solid structure that goes against my opponent right here. And you'll see this a lot in like the hunches. If I'm, I'm going here, I'm not trying to push that way. I'm expanding out and going, right? Those are some tidbits on your traditional punches. Hopefully that makes sense. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I'm trying to release a video a day, see how long I can do this for. So whatever you can do, like the, like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, comment too. I love responding to, to comments. So thank you.